make me cut it down really, really, really short. Moving forward in unity. Yes. Sister Fam, I do love you. I do. Amen. Sister Mel, we just love you. Moving forward in unity. And when I tell you I struggle with this thing, I struggled. I struggled even last night. I told uh, my, my daughter, Doreen. I said, Doreen, uh, uh, nothing, I, nothing I think about makes any kind of sense. It just, just, just bizarre. I just couldn't put it together. I, I, I couldn't see moving forward in unity because all I could see was movement, but I couldn't pull that unity in. You know, we do a lot of going backwards and forwards, and we here and there doing this and that. But a lot of times we're not doing nothing. We just move. We just move. So all movement is not forward, and certainly all movement is not unity. One thing about movement, I, and I suffer from this, it's not a disease, but I suffer from it, and that's inertia. And inertia is that when you are content to be in the state that you're in, yeah. you don't want to move, you don't feel like moving, you don't have a desire to move, but I found out if you want to progress, you have to move. Yeah. All movement, all movement is a good movement. In Ephesians 4 and 14, it says that we are to henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind and doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. So this is telling me Every prophet, every preacher, every teacher that comes by, we as saints of God can't run to hear what they're saying. Sometimes we're just like little birds, just wide open. And anybody come through saying they, they prophet Ugulu from, me, uh, from Africa, here we go. But you don't know what kind of spirit is motivating them to say what they say. It's good to know the ones that labor. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. If you don't like what's going on uh, where you are, and then you move to another uh, facility of worship because I just don't like it. All movement is good movement. Sometimes your movement can go from bad to worse. If God is not in the process, it won't be blessed. So I'm telling you, wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he will not only strengthen your heart, but he will give you directions. Yes, yes, yes. One thing about moving forward, it's not easy. Uh, uh, it's never easy. Moving forward in unity is harder because the devil is the author of confusion, strife, and division. Now, he don't mind you moving as long as you're not progressing. And he certainly don't want you to be unified with the saints of God. So anything that keeps you moving forward, the, 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 the betterment of your relationship, uh, improving your spiritual life, growing in Christ, having that agape kind of love, the devil ain't having it. He's angry. You're looking at yourself, why can't I do better? Why can't I grow in the Lord? Why can't I come up a little higher? Why am I like I was last year and the year before? I still can't stand the same person I couldn't stand five years ago. What's wrong with me? It's the devil. He distorts, he distorts what you see and hear to keep you from moving forward. He warps your perception. Yes. Have you ever heard someone say something to someone and they 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 saying one thing but when it when they got to that person's ear it didn't even they didn't even receive it right. And you're looking at them like I didn't say that. I didn't mean that. How could you have have got that out of what I said? See but the devil is into warping our Perception. He will have you sitting in church looking at 
at your brother and your sister doing the very same thing. So we as saints, we have to recognize yeah. that that battlefield, that thing that we are fighting with, it starts right here. It starts in your mind. And then, then after a while, it gets down in your heart. And that bitterness and, and, and hatred and, and jealousy and envy and malice. See, our sins are hidden. Yeah. Oh, I want to say that. Say that. Our sins, you can't see because look at me. Good and saved looking. See, you don't know what I have in my heart. You don't really know how I feel about you because I look so sad. See, this is how, how we operate. We, we have to contend with uh, the devil to get the mind of Christ. It's a press because innately we are born in sin. And see, it gets me when you let these little babies do twerking and twitching and, 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 and listening to every kind of old damnable thing and, and, and you think that mess is cute. You let them hit you in the face. And you think some listen, some teacher, when you tell them school, going to beat them to death. Because you don't allow them to act real crazy with you. And they think they can act real crazy with any adult because we, and that, that wasn't even a lesson. But the sin, the sin, listen, they, they, they started little bitty babies. That's why I love the sunshine. See, let them shine. Let them praise the Lord. Let them get them loose. That's how we learn to love and serve God. They let us have as much church as we want. Yeah. Because they'd rather for us play church than to play that other stuff. Yeah. So this is where we are training. Training because we were born in sin. From our mother's womb, we have a spirit of carnality. So that's why we have to stop promoting sin in our babies' lives. say something, you know they know what they're talking about. You can feel that thing when they say it. Thousands of years later, when I saw our press, something dropped down in me. I said, oh, Paul, I did. Boy, I know what you're talking about. I, I, I may not have gone through what you've gone through, but I've gone through something that lets me know I, I, if I want to stay safe,
press toward. See, so that lets me know he's moving forward. I'm going this way. I have a goal in mind. I have a, it's something I'm, I'm really trying to attain. I'm, I'm just going to keep walking. I, I know I have to go through some things and I have to go through some valleys and I have to go through some down times. But I'm going to just keep on pressing. I'm pressing because I look behind me. And I don't want to go back there no more. I don't want to do that no more. I've done it and, and it was old and it's, it's ugly and I don't want to go back no more. It ain't worth going to hell for. When I look back over my life, it ain't worth going to hell for. I'm too old to be doing stuff over again that I did when I was 30, 20, and 30. I can't do that no more. I've been delivered. So I, 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 and when I look back, I said, no, I can't. I can't. I've got to. I've got to press. I've got to press. And when he says in Romans 7, and we paraphrase uh, what he said in Romans 7, he said, uh, I'm pressing, but look, it ain't easy. He said, paraphrase, I want to do good. Uh -huh. See that evil thing? Uh -huh. That thing that I told you, Always. you were born with. Uh -huh. That thing that ain't cute. Uh -huh. That thing that's designed to kill you. Yeah. That's designed yeah. to destroy you. I want to do good, but evil is just right there. Uh -huh. So as I press and I try to do the right thing, here comes something else. Try to do the right thing, and here we here we go with ours. It ain't you know like worldly stuff. We you know, but but somebody talk about me, <laughs> throw me all the way off. Yeah. We don't want to come back no more. Everybody will make me sick. One but one person that threw you out, but now you can't stay in the whole church. <laughs> Misunderstood. Yes. Talked about. Yes. Lied on. Yes. People envying you. Yes. See, this is how our church scenes do. It's, it's undercover. It's, yes. We got so much undercover stuff going. Yes. See, we, we do a lot of stuff, that, and you can't tell it when we come out in these kind of scenarios. Uh -huh. But, baby, I heard somebody praying in our unity. Oh, you should all should have been here 630. Oh, These ladies did it. They did yeah. it. Amen. But they prayed. I heard in one of the prayers about a spirit of gossip. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. See, you in church said, mm, who she talking about? Mm. But that was the Holy Ghost speaking through her, knowing what needs to be set down.
Cupid's is gone now. We just in, we just in for the long haul at that point. We just in, okay. But when you first get saved, I told my mama when I first got saved in St. Louis, May 14, 1976, I said, Mama, everybody in this church is saved. <laughs> she said, mm -hmm. <laughs>
up in you. Now you got all against him, but you feel like they, you don't like me. I, I know I must have said something about something. It's said, lay your gift. See? Right here. Put down now. Don't try to shout over this thing. See, that's why you stay at the doctor's office all the time. Try to shout over this. Don't do it. Put your gift on the altar and go to that person. Yeah. 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 Yeah.